Hi everyone. So I thought I'd do a quick video for you today. It is just my brush collection, how I store them, how I spot clean them, which ones I like, which ones I don't like, that kind of thing. So if you are interested, then stick with me. So I have this tiny vanity that I got uh, from Wayfair.com and it was hard to find something this small. We have a small bedroom and with a dresser and a bed, it was pretty much full. So <laughs> I needed to get something tiny. Um, but I do keep out uh, basically all the brushes that I would use on a day-to-day -day basis. So I have a coffee cup and this has all my kind of short brushes. So there are some face and eye brushes in here. Then the Sigma set that came with this brush holder, I bought that quite a long time ago. So I keep some of the tall face brushes that I have and the tall eye brushes that I have. So for spot cleaning, I use um, MAC Brush Cleanser, which is in this spray bottle that, you know, I got at Ulta for, I don't know, a dollar or two, something like that. And this is what I use for spot cleaning. So I'll show you that in a minute. Um, the rest of my brushes, I do also have um, an Ikea Alex. The rest of my brushes are in this drawer with my eyeliners. So these are brushes that I may or may not like them. It's mostly face brushes, but I'm just not, I don't have them out right now, so I'm not using them on a regular basis. But there are good brushes in here. Like I've mentioned this one in my favorites quite a few times I got from Coastal Scents. Um, the contour brush from Real Techniques. This one's really nice. I might put this one out soon. Um, let's see, this pointed foundation brush from Sonia Kashuk is really nice. Uh, let's see, let's see. This Sonia Kashuk uh, powder brush is super, super soft. I really like this one. Um, and also this one's not too bad. This Sigma, it's like a MAC 109, I think. The F05 small contour, it's super duper dense. And also this uh, Sonia Kashuk cheek. Oh, I don't remember what this one's called. Like multi-purpose, flat, oh, I don't know. I don't know, but I've used it for cream blush and for foundation. So those are kind of the, that's the brush and waiting area. They may or may not come out with me at some point. Um, so in the small cup, I think it's really useful <laughs> to have the small brushes in a small container because otherwise they just get lost. I used to sometimes keep them in here, but it was just, you're always digging around and it's easy to miss things. So um, I have things like this Laura Mercier, um, I don't know if they consider it a travel size brush, but it's the all over shader. It's a really, really nice brush. So I want to use it, so I really just need to have it out here. Um, you'll see I have a thing for crease blending brushes. Um, I'm just going to grab all the ones that I have in here, which is kind of hilarious. Let's see. I think those are all the ones that I bought specifically. Some of the things like... Um, this was the Sigma uh, Travel E25. It came with as the free gift when you bought something from Sigma, so I have two of those. So these are all of my short like crease or blending brushes. Um, yeah, I have a lot of them. The ones I like the most are the Sonia Kashuk ones. Let's see, so there are two short ones here. I'm sorry if I'm not paying attention to the screen too well. So those are my two favorite of the short ones, and favorites overall, really. Um, these I got either at Target or CVS or Walgreens, something like that. I'm not sure. Um, they're from different places, though, I believe. They might be both from Target. Oh, I don't know. Anyway, these are really nice. They're very soft. They're kind of stiff, but not too stiff. I like them. Um, I also got the uh, Duo Fiber 
set from Real Techniques. I do like the face brushes. The eye brush is a little too pokey, really. Um, let's see if there's anything else notable in here. This is a MAC 180, so it's the little duo fiber brush. If I had to do it again, I probably wouldn't buy this. I just wanted it. Not really rationally. Oh, this is also a good one. The um, e.l.f. Uh, crease brush, is it? No, blending eye brush. So this is the $1 one. It's a nice brush. I would recommend it if you're on a budget and looking for a good blending brush. Uh, yeah, also, um, totally not really that important, but the L'Oreal Infallible Gel uh, Lacquer Liners, they come with this brush, and it's actually quite nice for liner. So I do, I did hold on to all three of these that I have. On to the big brushes. A lot of these are Sigma. Some I like, some I don't like so much. Ones I really do like are of just overall of the brushes. Let's see. And I did do a favorite eye brush blog post that I'll link to below. So these are all ones that I use on a pretty regular basis. Um, these are mostly ones that I featured in that blog post. So this is like the pointed um, crease brush. Let's see, small tapered blending it says uh, from Sigma. The only thing I don't like about it is it sheds. Mac uh, 239, I would buy this again if I thought about it. It's nice for packing on color. Although other shader brushes also do the same job. This is the E25 in full size form from Sigma. I can't really see any difference between that and the MAC 217. Um, this is the large fluff E50 from Sigma. It's really nice for kind of packing on color onto your brow, brow bone and blending it out. Um, this is the E70 medium angled shading from Sigma. It is a really nice brush. I really like that one because it's fluffy so it can blend. It can also pack on powder. And this is the MAC 217. I like it as much as the Sigma one to be quite honest. Uh, this is the E35 tapered blending. It's a little bit bigger and fluffier than I was hoping, but I do like it for blending. Uh, the Sigma E55, a uh, really nice shader brush. It really picks up color well, it cleans up well. And this is unfortunately discontinued from Sonia Kashuk. It was a blending brush. But the, I didn't mention it, but this one, the 109 from Sonia Kashuk, it's not as big, but it's a really nice blending brush. And the face brushes that I have out at the moment, this is an e.l.f. Uh, fan brush. I like it, but it is kind of stinky when you clean it, so it's probably not the best quality. Uh, Sigma F40 contour brush. Um, it's kind of fluffs out and splays. It's all right. I like it for blush, but it's not fabulous. The Sigma Tapered Highlighter F35. I do like this one um, for highlight. It's not too dense, not too loose. It's just a good brush. I like this uh, uh, Real Techniques uh, blush brush for powder. If I take a light hand, I can use it for blush, but it is kind of gigantic. The Pro Flawless Airbrush number 56 from Sephora. Uh, this is the new style. I've been using this for foundation. It's super dense. It is kind of a pain to clean. It's nice, but it is a hassle. I don't know if I would buy that again. Um, F25, this is the big, kind of big version of that one. Uh, and a lot of these are just MAC dupes, by the way. Or not dupes, but they are copying the MAC shape. <laughs> um, I like this one for powder quite a lot. And my favorite brush for the Laura Geller Balance and Brighton is the e.l.f. powder brush. I really like this. It can really build up a good amount of coverage on the face with the Balance and Brighton. So that is basically kind of a review of the things that I have out. I do also, um, one thing I do is in the large case here, I have a brush guard and I use that to kind of organize 
my brow brushes and my eyeliner brushes so that when I'm looking for one of those it's easy to kind of pick it out of the selection. And this uh, Smashbox number 12, I really like that one. Also, the uh, this is the Ulta, um, I think, Pro Eyebrow Brush. That one's pretty nice, too. Don't have any real favorites of the eyeliners, though. They're all kind of serviceable. Um, okay, so when I do use the brush, what I do is just kind of leave it out here on top of my vanity. And then, um, hopefully, that time that I'm putting the makeup on, but sometimes it's the next day, what I do is just take a tissue and I fold it into quarters and I spray two times with the brush cleanser. And then I just kind of swirl around and you'll see the product coming up. And so with face brushes, I do like to deep clean them about once a week or once every two weeks, even though I'm doing the spot cleaning. And then you can see the brush is clean again. So that's about it. Oh, also, uh, since this one was dirty, I didn't have it out. But this Japanesque um, 324, it says on it, blush brush, really, really lovely brush. I would say it's one of the nicest face brushes that I have. Highly recommend it if you are in the market for a good sized, um, kind of tapered but fluffy brush. And you can see it's not super wide this way. So, really like it. Very nice brush. I gotta clean it though. So I think that's about it for my kind of brush collection overview and how I clean them. If you're interested in seeing more details, I do have that blog post with my favorite eye brushes that I'll link below, which has, you know, good pictures of them up close and that kind of thing. And if you are interested in any more details, a different video, that kind of thing about my brushes, then please let me know in the comments below. And if you just have any comments, questions, etc., I would love to hear from you. So I hope you are having a wonderful day and I'll see you soon.